Winds blowing across Antarctica's ice shelves may be contributing to an increase in meltwater, which could accelerate their breakup, scientists say. In a new report in Nature Climate Change, researchers traveling to the Roi Baudouin ice shelf in East Antarctica said they found signs of more meltwater than previously estimated. Surface meltwater can cause ice shelves to break up. Fractured ice shelves are more prone to melting. That water would contribute to rising sea levels, a problem for coastal cities like Miami, New Orleans, and Singapore. The team of scientists led by the University of Utrecht's Jan Lennertz in January observed a meltwater stream inside a crater on the ice shelf draining into three cavities worn into the glacial ice. Drilling into the ice elsewhere, they found lakes several meters under the ice's surface. The findings suggest that the ice shelf could be at risk of what scientists call hydrofracturing, when a great deal of meltwater forms atop the shelf and pushes inside of it, eventually making it break apart. The researchers said the increased meltwater is due to a microclimate on the Baduan ice shelf created by a so-called katabatic wind, or downslope wind, that blows down the ice shelf from the continent's interior, mixing with warmer air. The winds also blow away snow, which reflects solar radiation and helps keep the ice shelf cool. The naked ice is more vulnerable to melting. Climate researchers say similar wind activity and surface melt is occurring on other ice shelves in East Antarctica, increasing the risk of ice shelf collapse across that part of the continent. That could have implications for sea level rise across the planet.